Our next speaker um, is Kelly Carter from B Lab. So, like by night, she literally is the co founder of Climate Fight Georgia. She's like a lot of people you're going to hear from today. They wear like 13 hats. Um, and then by day, she's a sustainability analyst at B Lab, the nonprofit that oversees and certifies B corporations. So, she's one of those people you get on the call with at the end of the journey and you're fighting for every point you can with. Um, she guest lectured uh, about a month ago in our new B Corp class. And I was a little worried where I was like, oh, she's really good at this. Um, I was sitting there enthralled. So if her guest lecture is anything like what she's going to do tonight, I think we're all in for a real treat. So uh, Kelly Carter. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you to Be Local Georgia, Creature Comforts for having us all here today. I'm very excited to come speak. As Nathan said, my name is Kelly Carter. I'm a graduate of UGA's Terry College of Business. So I'm also very excited that with Dr. Chatterjee and all of the great programs at Terry, that there's really an emphasis on sustainability going forward. Also thrilled to be back in Athens too. What I'm really excited about tonight is being able to talk a little bit about my passion for the B Corp movement and share a little bit more about it with all of y'all. As Nathan mentioned, I work for B Lab, which is the nonprofit that certifies B Corps. And I think, Nathan, you talked a little bit about this earlier, but you may be wondering, what is a B Corp? So B Corps, certified B Corps, are businesses that meet the highest standards of social and environmental performance, public accountability, public transparency, and legal accountability to profit and purpose. And I figure most of you, are, you all are here today because you believe in using business as a force for good or creating a greater change in the world. And that's really what the B Corp movement's all about. The movement is really trying to shift the current or more so 20th century approach of state shareholder capitalism to stakeholder capitalism. So shifting from just focusing on profitability to really creating value and benefiting your community, customers, the environment, and your workers as well. And on top of this, not only is doing this I think the most ethical way to do business, it's what consumers are demanding and it's what the market's wanting. I've been reading over a number of different studies and one of the ones that I wanted to kind of briefly mention was from the Economist Intelligence Unit that showed there is a 71% rise in popularity of searches for sustainable goods in the past five years. So this was throughout the COVID-19 pandemic as well. There's a very high demand for this. So. You may, outside of the demand for sustainable and consciously made, ethically made goods, there's a lot of benefits to being a B Corp as well. And I specifically work with these companies that are going through the certification and verification process, I have a lot of conversations with them. And for me, I kind of group the benefits that I hear them speaking about into three different categories. First of which is differentiation. The second of which is continuous improvement. And the third of which is financial benefits. So for the first benefit of becoming a B Corp, differentiation, a lot of B Corps say that differentiation is a very powerful tool for them to stand out from competitors. Being a B Corp requires a lot of a rigorous review that allows for you to prove that you are walking the talk, that you really are authentically creating impact in your work. And a lot of competitors won't be able to say that. They don't have this certification. It adds credibility and lets consumers know that you're a standout. On top of that, it's also just great for your own marketing and branding and PR purposes as well. In addition to that, when it comes to hiring talent, especially from the millennial Gen Z generations, we're really looking for an employer that we feel that allows for us to create something greater in the world. B Corps, as part of the certification process, are really mission and purpose-driven companies. So that's a great, point and a key point for being a B Corp and hiring talent as well. For the second big benefit, continuous improvement, I've got a lot to say about this one, but in becoming certified, you have to take the B impact assessment. And I think as Nathan mentioned, you have to score 80 out of 200 points that really showcases your social and environmental performance through your operations and your business model. But this B impact assessment is also a fantastic tool for continuous improvement. The B Impact Assessment contains a number of different questions that businesses can then use and build off as metrics to track their improvement. Additionally, 
once becoming a B Corp, you do have to recertify every three years to continue to prove that you are creating the impact that you say that you're creating, that you're continuously improving your business. So it holds you accountable for continuous improvement in the social and, social and environmental goals as well. Additionally, a new assessment is released every three years, so there are new questions in this assessment. A lot of the questions do remain the same to allow for that benchmarking aspect, but these newer questions introduce newer and evolving best practices in the CSR realm. So it's a fantastic way for your business to stay on top of social and environmental trends and such as well. Personally, one of my favorite things about the B Corp movement and one of the things that I hear the most about from the companies that I work with is the collaborative community around it. As you can see, so many people showed up today to learn more and talk about doing business better. And from becoming a B Corp, you get access to very exclusive programs that allow for you to network with other businesses that are B Corps. There's over 4,000 B Corps, so you've got a lot of different individuals that you can speak with and learn from through either round tables or community events. And I find that that's one of the biggest key takeaways and values of being a B Corp. Lastly, for the third big uh, beneficial kind of category that I feel a lot of companies speak to is the financial benefits. As part of the review that I do, I look at company suppliers. And a lot of the companies purchase from other B Corps because B Corps will offer discounts to other B Corps. I think too, from a business perspective, it's nice because you know that the supplier that you're purchasing from is doing business ethically and that you can trust that coming, purchasing those products or services, you know that they're treating their employees properly, that they're involved in the local community and that they are respectful to the environment. Additionally, for those businesses that are trying to raise capital or are looking into impact investing, being a B Corp is a huge plus too. Um, we see a lot of impact investing firms pushing for this and having companies take the assessment and observing their score, the different areas of material impact for these companies before deciding to invest. Now, I know that I've probably maybe taken uh, five minutes and I could honestly talk about this for much longer. So please come find me afterwards if you're interested. But once again, thank you to Be Local Georgia, Creature Comforts for having us all here today. And if you're interested in using your business as a force for good, please come talk to me and Be Local Georgia and all the folks, Nathan, Zach, everyone, um, that have been mentioned through Dr. Chatterjee's speech and Nathan's introduction to learn more. So thank you again.